The tech world is buzzing right now because of a big claim making the rounds, a new Chinese-made GPU for just $150 that could supposedly revolutionize AI computing. If you've been on YouTube recently, you've probably seen flashy thumbnails screaming things like NVIDIA killer for $150 or run AI cheaply now. Sounds amazing, right? Imagine running face-swapping apps, voice cloning, stable diffusion, and other advanced AI tools without spending thousands on NVIDIA hardware. But here's the harsh truth, it's all hype. And in this video, we're going to break down why this dream is unrealistic, why these GPUs won't work for AI right now, and why NVIDIA still dominates the AI landscape in a way that's almost impossible to challenge. Let's start with the basics. AI workloads are completely different from gaming. When you play a game, your GPU is rendering graphics, applying shaders, and doing visual computations, tasks GPUs are traditionally designed for. But AI? AI involves matrix multiplications, tensor operations, and deep learning optimizations that require specialized acceleration and optimized software frameworks. This is where CUDA, NVIDIA's proprietary platform, comes in. CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture, and it is not just another piece of software, it's the foundation for modern AI computing. CUDA allows developers to write code that fully utilizes NVIDIA's GPU architecture for massive parallel processing. Every major AI framework you've heard of, PyTorch, TensorFlow, JX, is built around CUDA. Popular AI tools like FaceSwap, DeepFace Lab, Stable Diffusion, Live Portrait, Wave 2 Lip, RVC Voice Cloning, DeepFace Live, and countless others are CUDA first. Without CUDA, these tools either refuse to run or fall back to CPU mode, which is so slow it becomes completely impractical. Here's why that matters, CUDA is closed source and locked to NVIDIA GPUs. It doesn't run on AMD, Intel, or any other manufacturer unless you build an entire alternative ecosystem, and that's exactly where the challenge lies. People assume that just because a GPU has a similar architecture or decent hardware specs, it should work for AI. But in reality, without CUDA and NVIDIA's optimized libraries like CUDNN and TensorRT, your GPU is useless for AI acceleration. These Chinese GPUs cannot run CUDA, period. Even if they mimic some aspects of NVIDIA architecture, the drivers and licensing simply aren't there. Now, let's talk about why everyone is so excited about a $150 GPU. The reason is obvious, NVIDIA GPUs have become insanely expensive. Why? Three reasons. First, the AI boom. Since 2022, companies from small startups to tech giants like OpenAI, Google, and Meta have been hoarding NVIDIA GPUs for training large language models, creating a global supply shortage. Second, gamers and AI researchers compete for the same hardware, driving prices up even further. Third, and most importantly, NVIDIA controls the software stack. CUDA is their golden weapon. It ensures that no matter how good another company's hardware is, developers will stick with NVIDIA because their tools and workflows are already CUDA optimized. This brings us to AMD, the perfect example of why hardware alone isn't enough. AMD makes fantastic GPUs, often beating NVIDIA in raw performance for gaming. But when it comes to AI, AMD is far behind. They created ROCM, an open-source alternative to CUDA, but adoption is extremely limited. Why? Because rewriting AI frameworks for ROCM is expensive, time-consuming, and unnecessary when the majority of users are on NVIDIA. Developers prioritize where the user base is, and that's firmly in NVIDIA's camp. Even Google and Meta, with all their resources, still prioritize CUDA because that's where the ecosystem lives. If AMD, with billions in R&D and decades of experience, struggles to compete in AI, what chance does a $150 Chinese GPU have? Essentially zero. And here's the kicker, even Chinese-made GPUs that try to clone NVIDIA's design cannot run CUDA legally or technically. You cannot just download the CUDA toolkit and install it on non-NVIDIA hardware. It won't work because CUDA is tightly integrated with NVIDIA's drivers and architecture. Without CUDA, you also lose access to CUDNN, TensorRT, 
and all the optimizations that make AI training and inference fast and efficient. So even if these GPUs look impressive for gaming or multimedia, for AI, they are dead on arrival. Now, some people ask, could these companies create a CUDA alternative? In theory, yes. But in practice, it would require building an entire platform from scratch, an API for GPU programming, a full set of optimized libraries, support from frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow, and, most importantly, convincing developers to adopt it. This would cost billions of dollars and take years, possibly a decade. NVIDIA didn't build its ecosystem overnight, it took more than 15 years of investment, partnerships, and developer support. That's why their position in AI is so strong. To put this into perspective, even Intel, with its massive resources, has struggled to break in with its one API platform. They've been trying for years, and still, CUDA dominates. If AMD and Intel can't dethrone NVIDIA, a budget GPU company has no chance in the short term. This is why these claims about $150 GPUs being NVIDIA killers for AI are pure marketing hype. So what will these Chinese GPUs actually be good for? Probably gaming at mid-level settings, video playback, and maybe some rendering. But for AI workloads like stable diffusion image generation, face swap, deepfake video synthesis, or advanced voice cloning, they simply won't cut it. Let's go deeper into why CUDA is so important. CUDA isn't just about compatibility, it's about performance. AI models involve millions or billions of operations, and CUDA allows those to be split across thousands of GPU cores efficiently. It's also tied into NVIDIA's CUDNN library, which accelerates neural network operations, and TensorRT, which speeds up inference for deployed models. Remove CUDA, and you remove the performance magic that makes AI feasible on consumer hardware. That's why even today, almost every AI guide says, you need an NVIDIA GPU with CUDA support. The bottom line? Don't fall for the hype. These $150 GPUs may look attractive, but they are not designed for AI and won't run the tools you care about. If your goal is gaming or video rendering, sure, they might be a bargain. But if you want to experiment with AI, face swap, voice cloning, image generation, NVIDIA is still your only real option for the foreseeable future. Until someone invests billions and spends years building a CUDA-level alternative, NVIDIA's dominance will remain unchallenged. So, what do you think? Should companies fight to create an open GPU ecosystem for AI, or is NVIDIA's monopoly here to stay? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button if this video helped you understand the truth, subscribe for more deep tech insights, and I'll see you in the next one.